In the Dred Scott case, Chief Justice Taney held for the Supreme Court that black people could not be citizens before the Civil War because that would allow them to own guns. After the Civil War, the first anti-gun laws, gun control laws that were passed in this country were actually passed to stop black people from owning guns. These are some of the facts that I educated Don Lemon on, on set in a heated exchange that we had shortly before his firing. So shortly after that exchange, Joy Reid, an MSNBC host, has Ro Khanna, a Democratic politician who happens to be an Indian American, as a stand-in for the Indian American view, criticizing me for supposedly stating falsehoods. Actually, everything I stated is factually true based on U.S. history. But criticizing at length my supposed falsehoods and then has Ro Khanna effectively licking her feet, which is ex exactly what she wanted on air, talking about how Indian Americans owe black Americans a debt of gratitude. So I thought it was remarkable that here's a TV host, supposedly who wants to engage in open debate about my views on this post-Civil War history, who's talking about me on air extensively to another Indian American second-rate stand-in, but won't talk to me directly, so I made an offer. I said, if you want to have a debate about this, if you think that your recounting of the post-Civil War history is any different than mine, let's have that debate in the open. What do we get? Silence. This is what the modern left does, and Joy Reid embodies it. Very well, actually. Cower in fear and hide. Talk a big game when you're talking to your own community, when you're talking to the people who agree with you, but cower in fear when it comes to actually confronting the other side in open debate. Now, more recently, she was spouting off about affirmative action after the Supreme Court came down with its ruling saying that she would not have gotten into Harvard without affirmative action. I believe her. I think that's probably true. But then she also complained that she was judged negatively by her peers because she got in based on affirmative action. I actually said that that's wrong. It's wrong to black Americans. It's wrong to Asian Americans or white Americans who are discriminated against. But it's even unfair to black Americans, many of whom I went to school with, who would have gotten meritocratically anyway. It's unfair that they're judged that way. So I said so. And then Joy Reid again, Classic pattern, talking about me instead of to me, says that, oh, Vivek Ramaswamy also wouldn't have gotten into Harvard, but for affirmative action. That is a lie, and it reflects a shocking combination of gall and ignorance, failing to pay attention to the fact that that case argued in front of the Supreme Court was brought on behalf of Asian Americans, that includes Indian Americans, who are systematically discriminated against, penalized by affirmative action, which rewards black and Hispanic Americans. So that combination of ignorance but self-confidence embodies the modern left. And the sad part of it is, folks like Joy Reid, again, they have utter, total, apparent comfort with spewing falsehoods and doing it to only the silos and the echo chambers that agree with them. Totally comfortable to talk about me at length and all the reasons why I'm supposedly wrong, when in fact I'm grounded in fact. But what I say is, okay, if I believe in my views and you believe in yours, I'm open to having it out in the open. That's where I talk to Chuck Todd or Don Lemon, go on The Breakfast Club. I show up and believe in open dialogue and debate. That's how we get to truth. It's a shame to see that some of the leading commentators for the modern left, when push comes to shove, really just go back into their caves to hide from the truth, wallowing in their own fear. What I'll say is joy from one alum to another the offer still stands. I understand why you'd like to hide from debate, but I think it's better for the country if you're actually engaging with the people who disagree with you rather than talking about them with falsehoods without actually confronting the facts.